Yeah, I remember the uh, the hype of you know running down the shed, running down the tunnel there at Penrith at the old um, stadium before it got upgraded. So uh, you know, rocking up there and the flags flying. So yeah. Welcome to Grana Dolphins TV. Uh, I've got a special guest with us today, Andrew Hinson. Where did you start your junior rugby league? Uh, I started with a place called Emu Plains back in Penrith. I played, uh, what, under 19s it would have been. At the age of 17, I hadn't played any wet footy before that, so I uh, was a bit daunting playing two years above myself, but uh, that was my chance and I guess never looked back from there. Yeah. Bit of a jostle up. Alright, so we got 50 games for Penrith, we got four games for South Sydney. Five? Sorry, yeah, five. I've got yep. a count of names in there, and there's not that many. Yeah. I've got to count every one of them. <laughs> yeah, I remember the, uh, the hype of you know, running down the shed, running down the tunnel there at Penrith at the old um, stadium before it got upgraded. So, uh, you know, rocking up there and all the flags flying, so yeah, pretty special occasion. A player called Ryan Girdler passed me the ball, and I should have scored in the corner before my other try, but I um, can't remember who it was, come over and absolutely annihilated me and I just went, wow, that must be the step up from reserve grade to first grade. So I uh, Sam Elvey who's running the drills tonight and you uh, does a lot of work with Coach AI and he's out at uh, Toowoomba now. So, yeah, so Sam, I used to work for him straight out of footy uh, and then we got the opportunity to move up here. Um, yeah, never looked back. It was like, you know, the, the sunny shores of the Nepean River or the sunny shores of the uh, Maloolaba Beach. So uh, yeah, moved up here, never looked back, but uh, got a blue heart, mate, at the core. So, uh, and my son Riley and son Billy, or they both give it to me. Um, yeah. they're, they're staunch Maroon supporters. Cool. I tried to get them into the Blues, but they wouldn't come. So, uh, uh, well, I always sort of wanted a coach, and then um, a former coach here, Rob Ruff, brought me to the club. Um, we moved up here, like I said before, we moved up here, and I finished playing footy out at Bathurst, but I uh, we moved up here and didn't know anyone, so obviously you fall back on what you know. Um, started playing at Kalana and then had a couple of years playing here, but um, you know, Rob was looking to move on, so he did, and I just took the opportunity. It was, a, it was pretty daunting my first year. Our 2009 season definitely didn't go the way I, I wanted it. Um, but yeah, such a tough season, you learn quite quickly. So the sink or swim scenario, and, and we learn, and then I, yeah, I've never looked back. Uh, my wife probably hates every moment of it, but um, I quite love it. I'm a passionate footy player, it's in my blood. And, Pretty tragic, so uh, if I well, can't play, the body can't play anymore, so I've got a coach kept it in with, uh, with the game. Yeah, and the volunteers all love everything you do here and they're really appreciative, so... We've got a, got a great club here, mate, and everybody plays their part, um, so we're trying to make it as family orientated and professional as we can be. Alright, well thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I hope you have a great season and we'll chat to you soon. Hey guys, we're here to talk about the uh, Goose Club that we run on Friday nights. Um, we've got two raffles, some pretty good gifts. Um, they start at 5.30, we have finger foods, wine again played on the TV. Yeah, get, get there and see the lose. Um, hopefully you win some prizes.